I'm Rachel Kopchak with GBTA Live. When it comes to selecting a ground transportation service for your traveler, the choice is not always clear. Here's a look at some of the challenges you are facing. The, um, the Shifford um, business, that will always be a corporate thing. As far as my corporation is concerned, I don't think they're going to be able, as a business, to fully commit themselves to allowing their business travelers to do ride sharing. So we do have a silent, um, silent policy on that because we can't mandate to all of our travelers that they can't do that. But we certainly, for our corporate travelers, um, want them to be in a chauffeur-driven car that we know has, has all of the drug testing drivers and all of all that. We have a lot of our travelers who have gone to the Lyft and the Ubers, uh, but we also worry about the duty of care. We were just having that discussion. We want to know who's picking you up. Are they safe? Are they reputable? Some people may not worry about that. A young person may not worry about that, but an older person, perhaps of my generation, wants to know that the person picking them up is safe, is reputable. At this point in time, we're in the process of changing. Uh, right now, we're mostly using either uh, black car service or taxi, and uh, we're in the process right now to adopt the uh, ride-sharing experience. We see the, um, the advantages of technology that Lyft and Uber have, so we do need to come up you know, with that similar technology. We just need to do it with um, and protect our drivers that appreciate the fact that we do pay benefits, we do treat them you know, fairly, we do compensate them well. It's hard enough to find good drivers. You have to take care of them.